Tonight is Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. This is M14. He's a diamond python, Morelia spilota spilota. He is one year old and he is doing his homework for a foundations and snake training course that he is participating in. This is homework number three and he is climbing out of his enclosure on his own to actively engage with this snake on a table exercise. It's basically a puzzle maze. So three of the objects that are on this table have a prey item in them. And he can go explore that table, engage with each of the objects and hunt for that prey item and then choose to eat it or not when he finds it. He actively engaged with this exercise for around an hour. I think it was a little over an hour actually. At this point, he smelled the dog and reacted to the movement of my dog who had just finished eating and was resting in his pen. And I'm not sure if M14 thought that the dog smelled like something he wanted to eat or if the dog worried him, but thankfully he didn't finish his trek across that open space over to where the dog was and he went back to engaging in his maze of puzzles where he was exploring um, by smell and by feel. So he was um, moving around each of the objects, climbing on top of the objects, climbing in and out of the objects. At this point, he decided it might be interesting to move over to the dresser and I picked him up and moved him back over to his table. He does end up finding two of the prey items. One of the prey items is in that Iams orange box. And he does not at any point go inside that box. Although I thought a couple of times he smelled the prey inside. Then another prey item is on that bluish green plastic container. It's just out in the open. The one he's investigating right now, there's a Reptilink sausage just next to that vase out in the open on that container. And he actually travels quite near it and actually slithers over it a couple of times, but showed no interest in it. There's the Iams box and that has a hopper mouse in it. Now this green container I thought was interesting because I had done this exercise with one of our corn snakes and I had a mouse inside that green container for the corn snake. Now there's no food item in that green container now, but he does seem to spend a lot of time around it. And I wasn't sure if that was just a coincidence or he, if he had smelled that there'd previously been a mouse in there. The other food item, the third one, is on that orange cat toy to M14's left that has those balls that roll around the outside. And it's not inside the container middle, it's actually on that um, highest shelf. And I know there's a shot of it lying there. That's the one that he really, at one point during the exercise, focuses his attention on. So I'm just gonna let this video play for a few minutes from here. And I've added some music so that it's um, a little bit more interesting as you watch it. But I'm just going to let you observe M14's behavior for a few minutes and you'll see that he does find the prey item. I think that he clearly smells it and knows where it is. And he just sort of hovered in or near or around this orange thing for a very long time and is at some points right there at the prey item where he could have taken it, but he doesn't. So after probably about 30 minutes or so, maybe 40 minutes, I went and got tongs and I picked the prey item up off that shelf and showed it to him and he immediately ate it. And then I ended up doing the same thing with the second prey item, but I wanted to get a little bit more training in. So I um, incorporated a short target training session within this snake on a table session to give him the second prey item so he ate two hopper mice and he did not eat the Reptilink. Two hopper mice was plenty of food for him. And after he ate those, he was ready to go back in his enclosure and rest. So enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for watching. Again, this is M14's homework assignment for week number three 
of foundations in snake training through reptiligence. One last quick note is this entire activity took him over an hour and I did speed up this video. So I not only cut most of the hour out because it was just him roaming around on the table, but I also sped the video footage up two times normal speed to make it a little bit uh, faster to watch so that more behaviors could be captured in the 15 or 16 minutes of this video.